All right. Here's your sign. We can make a sign say whatever we want. We're going to use a process called vacuum forming. So with this method, you can make it say whatever you want. Um, even, I hope you step on a Lego. So, um, let's go ahead and go through the process here. The first thing that I did was I made um, all these letters. Okay. So, uh, all these letters were made on a laser cutter. So, cut them out of Baltic birch plywood. So, I have every letter of the alphabet, and I did some numbers. I even did, you know, all the little hashtags and curly brackets, parentheses, money, signs, and ampersands, some stars, and little happy faces, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay? Now, to make the shape of the sign, I again laser cut that. Here's this. On the back side, there's a bunch of holes, and now these... Uh, places where I didn't engrave that make it so it sits up and allows the vacuum to transfer. Okay, now that I've made my signs, uh, I get to use my vacuum form machine. Okay? Now this is just a piece of plastic that I already put in the machine. Um, it's heating up. This is a heating element in here. And so that's going to heat up. And while it's heating up, I'm going to get the signs ready on the other side. Try to do some fun sayings here. Students always come up with fun and interesting things to, to put on these signs. What's really cool is that uh, I can do this activity over and over again and I can reuse the letters. After we're done we just pop them back out of the plastic and put them back in the little bins. Um, so I've done this now for, I think this is the third year I've done this. I don't know why I haven't made a video about it yet. I made this made made this activity for a open house where we had people coming to the school to uh, see if they wanted to come here or not. And this activity gets the kids excited about coming to, coming to an engineering place. Starting to get soft. there. <laughs> and we're ready to go. So the letters kind of stay in the plastic, so you do, it does take some effort to, to pop them out of there.
But other than that, it's a pretty simple activity. And the plastic cools off pretty fast. It's still a little bit hot right now, but it's not super hot. During this, dur dur doing this during an open house where I'm just constantly doing this, um, I made uh, 12 of these so that I can have four being formed while I have eight other people still working on them. It just seemed that uh, that's, that was the perfect number to make. And uh, it's kind of cool. So this, in order to do this, you have to have a laser cutter or you, if you're willing to sit a scroll saw for hours on end cutting out letters, you could do that. Or, I don't know, there's all sorts of, I mean, there's different ways you can make letters or you can buy them pre-made or find somebody who has a laser cutter and see if they'll help you make them. But it's a good activity to show kids how a vacuum form machine works. And uh, kids like activities where they get a lot of different choices of things that they could do, uh, where they can show creativity and imagination. Uh, if everybody just makes the exact same thing, uh, it's not as exciting. So I like I like it when you can change it and make it slightly different. So after I take out all the letters, then I just take some scissors and just cut it up. And then you can take a Sharpie and color it in. time to clean up all I do is put a, a piece of paper that I cut to fit the inside of the container just right because I have multiple in one and that way when I open it up the next time all I have to do is just dump it over then take out the uh, piece of paper and then I just load them all up into a box fits in the box that I need to make the signs and then the uh, vacuum form machine just folds up. I've, I've shown this machine in other videos but uh, if you wonder what it is, it's a thermovac. Um, and so that might help you out if you want to try to find it. Minneapolis, Minnesota, Nichols Electronics. So it's called Nichols Thermovac. I got it from a company called IASCO, which stands for um, Industrial Arts Supply Company. And so when I want to put it away, all I have to do is unplug it. all nice and neat. Okay. I haven't colored them yet, but uh, here's the signs. See how they're hollow in the back now? So everything is reusable. You have to buy new plastic, but that's pretty cheap. You buy this plastic in bulk, you probably get it at around a little over a dollar per sheet. So these are these signs aren't much more than 
you know, a quarter or so. And I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll, I'll have some more projects that uh, use the same type of stuff here in the future.